Hi guys, today we are going to we are going to determine the displacement of 3D structure. Uh, here is the problem. Just want to meet. Okay, the pipe bracket shown in figure has a 90 degree bend at a B in a horizontal plane. That means oh sorry, I forget to mention the points. It will be A. It will be B point. I mean B joint and it will be C joint okay uh, in a horizontal plane determine deflection of C that means C in Y and Z direction Z and Y direction take I is equal to 300 uh, centimeter to, to the power 4 J is equal to that means our hmm, uh, 600 and centimeter of 4 E and G will be equal to sorry I just forget to input the equation symbol here okay and our answer is will be this okay uh, this problem is manually done by unit unit load method or virtual work method you can also determine the displacements of cg and cy i mean this uh, point displacement by virtual work method you can find many pdf in google by writing virtual work method or unit load method for frame p displacement and now we are going to analyze this problem by our sap 2018 version so open sap 2018 version 18.2 okay first of all we have to uh, select our units that is our unit in uh, to uh, meter and kilonewton okay so it is in all already in kilonewton meter okay now just draw here okay we have our many patterns we are going to use our shell okay 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 now um uh, in ambition one ordinate two ordinate right okay we have two ordinates and in y direction that means head to hair um, that means two ordinates okay y direction two ordinates and in z direction there is no ordinate but we have to put here um, one okay now uh, in x direction by this thing will be 2 meter and in, in y direction that this thing will be 1 meter okay 2 meter and 1 meter so we have no direction but we have to put one here one okay okay uh, have, uh, okay we have our 3d dimensional plane this is the drama 3 dimensional plane okay i will even it here for our, our better understand now this is xy plane right look just look at a 3d view okay xy plane okay now um, draw the first of all define okay we are not taking any section okay we are not taking any section properties i mean i section or anything and we are not defining any type of materials we are taking only a center lens okay just analyze it as normal okay so we are not taking any certain properties so just i'm uh, sorry um okay just drop the frame okay in x and y okay uh, define load pattern one okay okay we, you don't have to define any, any kind of load pattern or load cases we are okay the load will be considered as um dead load okay so just you as usual i mean normally think mm, okay now draw draw frame okay well, obviously it will be continuous and straight frame Now just 
here is the fix support yeah, okay so just put here a fix support assign joints restraints right okay restraints Sorry. 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 Okay. this is in right we have to bend this in 90 degree for okay local axis rotate this about y axis by 90 degree clockwise change up turn oh sorry i don't select <laughs> Now it will be done. Okay. Now just assign our loads. Okay. So I'll take in load in y direction, right? Okay. Uh, in at B point. Okay. Okay. A and B point. That is C point. To assign join loads force. Uh, in y direction, right? Minus obviously minus 3 minus 3 okay look in a y this is a y direction right minus 3 and in z direction 2 kilometer click point here so, minus 2 you can see z direction okay 2 kilometer is applied here but if you want to see this load then go to view 2d um xz view view now you can see our load here i think okay this is two kilometer in z direction okay okay back to um xy plane okay now it's done analyze option say analyze option obviously in 3d view okay and um, mm, okay just run it uh, okay run it just really unmark here it is for dynamic purposes and run now go to um, um, stop Name this which is a fault hard AP cap two thousand Okay. Wait. Replace it. Wait for a second. The working is in progress. Mm, here. Okay. 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 okay you can just done link. Here, join local axis, and now we have to. Uh, if you want to determine the reactions of fixed supports, just go here, joints, and um, tabulate it. Okay, this is our um, reactions. Okay, okay. Uh, if you want to determine more accurate results and okay first of all uh, sorry so deform shape page. okay let me click here okay you one means in x direction displacement and u2 means in y direction and u3 means in z direction displacements okay and here we found that u3 is equal to minus uh, minus 0.538 right in z direction 0 0.58 obviously in downwards and um, 
in while this from minus 0 0.0122 0 0.0122 in the y direction downward if you solve this manually in by unit load method you will find the both values in downward direction and r1 r2 r3 means uh, moment okay the moment in x direction clockwise r2 means moment in y direction clockwise and r3 means moment in z direction clockwise okay I mean bent you can also find the value of B point and A point as, as usual this is fixed support right the, the, the displacement of this A point will be 0 and okay U1, U2, U3 uh, uh, 0 okay it's in, but it has moment right look this is the forces okay in x direction in x direction uh, reaction will be 2.98 minus 2.98 y direction the reaction will be 3 m1 means x direction y direction z direction moment okay as it is fixable it has moment okay now if you want to more accurate result you, you can use p delta method then unlock this okay just uh, define load cases um new load cases okay ac1 and or the name the let it be click here for um, static and long linear you can use uh, p delta okay mass trivial okay mass sources Yes, okay um, um okay this is done and this is done. now we are going to analyze again this again analyze it okay done now okay now we are okay i think the it is done here now joint go to sc one s Oh, the value is same, right? And to go to displacement on the form shaped so one. Now, now what we are create okay. The result is same, right? If you if you use P delta method, the result is nearly same. And this is a short structure. I mean, a small structure. The result will be same for p delta method uh, and ordinary method so thank you very much oh i forgot to tell you something that uh, if we are if we are we are not defining any kind of section i mean steel section or any kind of material properties or concrete or etc the program will generate an automatically value of i j e and g okay so for any kind of structure or any kind of frame structure, a small frame structure, you can use only these values, okay? I equal to uh, 300 and J, E and a, G. Do not use uh, any other formula. If you solve the problem manually, um, manually or other problems, you have to use these values, okay? I, J, E and G. Do not use other values and you can check your manually results by with the with software okay so thank you bye bye